Well, 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 well. We finally, finally, finally got a map in the in-game mod hub that Fury can play ultra realistic. So welcome, welcome, welcome to the realistic farming series for Farming Simulator 22 on Calmston Farm and where we use real tractors we use our real equipment we have a realistic tutorials and we have a real lot of fun well we started a new farmer with all the equipment except for i sold all the crappy john deers and got rid of them and now we are gonna head back to the farm and actually get some i think our first episode is going to be getting some animals set up so that we can get going with that uh i bought a new land rover discovery yay we start let me show you here we start with uh okay field 15 6 4 35 31 and that's it these fields are pretty decent size on this map this is a UK map. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we've got one Fent tractor. I'll show you when we get back to the farm. But getting into the setup, we are going to play 1x speed. Realistic. I'm going to play for one hour every day. And we are going to play three day months. And we are going to try to get through one full year. This may or may not be my permanent map. I drove around, drove around, drove around, and I absolutely love it this map is fantastic oxygen david did a wonderful job on this you guys know i've been chomping at the bit to get a ultra realistic farming series going this will be played in cab only 1x speed three day months and we are ready we are ready there will no be no Blah, 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 blah. there will be no time lapse there will be no nothing it will be right where we left off and i'm super excited for that so this is our first vehicle de -de -de, the land rover discover i figured we're on a uk map let's get the land rover i got this link from virtual farmer what an amazing guy he set me up with it and he is awesome uh normally the land rovers are left hand drive in the uk but we're going to play with this one. So let's get into this. My name is Fury Machine and a welcome, welcome, welcome to Calmsden Farm. And we have a balloon, except this one's also. These fields are, are notoriously uh, bigger than they look for a UK map. Uh, this reminds me of Oak, uh, Oak Hill, I think it's called. So anyways, let's get in our cab check the interior out on this bad boy look at this all the mirrors work watch this turn signals work four ways work gas gauge is set up for kilometers and what it does is it automatically switches over so if you're driving around with us stuff set it matches your speed limit this thing is amazing. So I'm going to leave the HUD up for a while and then until um, I learn the map. Uh, once I get the map down and we've driven around on this map forever in a day, then we'll take the HUD right off and you guys will just live. Now, like I said, this series will be played through the eyes. I got to keep this up because I don't know where I'm going yet. Uh, where are we? Okay, I see up by field seven. Um, this will be played through the eyes of a dairy farmer. Realistically, the way that we did it on our dairy farm when we grew up. And this is going to be no deviation from that. There won't be any of the cheat mods on there. There won't be any of the auto loads and things like that. Uh, in the placeable section, we may or may not put a factory down. But it will be just like a... Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we'll we'll put some factories down, but it's not going to be anything like No Man's Land. So, let's get busy till I figure out where we're going here. 
Okay, I think I have to drive out this way. Sorry, will I put the map back down on this? There we go. So now I can see. But look at that. Rearview mirror. Everything works. What a great. So, you guys ready for some trivia? Trivia, trivia while we drive. We're going to drive back to our farm. And we're going to see what kind of a... Whoops. Where am I going here? <laughs> the fun thing about starting a new map when you don't know anything about it. Oh, I got to change that. All right. So, I got to drive this episode with my joystick. I hope everybody understands that for a while because... I forgot to change the, because look at the, uh, what do you call that there? Oops. Give me one second here. Just got my joystick card. <laughs> I was yelling for my, my joystick cord got around my steering wheel. But uh, anyways, yeah, my, the latency is off on it, so. I think I can just drive straight. Does that gear shift or work? Watch. Oh, yeah. Sick, sick, sick mod. If you guys want this mod, I will put a link down in the description. I'm not going to go crazy because I don't know where I'm going yet. I think this. there's one field that we own. Let's take a look at this here for a second. Oh my gosh, look at... These fields are bigger than they look. Oh my, oh my, oh my. I gotta get harvesting. That's what we gotta do first because I am not gonna lose the harvest on this map. As I burp. <laughs> I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. Sorry, everyone. I think... Okay, so... Let's uh, go here first. I don't know where our harvester is. This is all new. I drove around the map, but I didn't really explore because I wanted to learn it together. All I did was sell the... I don't want John Deere on this. I'm going to have either Fent or Massey. Is our one harvester here? Okay, so it's not. All right, so let's pull in here and back up. Oh, yeah, we were going to do trivia. So I asked you guys last time um, what it meant when a farmer says heifer. Well, a heifer is a young cow. That's all it is. Baby cow. Baby girl cow, actually. All right, so I'm still going to get used to this. And is this our farm? No. No. This is our farm. What a fantastic job this he did on this map. Oxy does always good work anyways. Look at this Land Rover just shooting through the nice... I put it uh, Discovery Green. So apparently that really comes in that color. I have to remember to do the latency on my steering wheel. There's our harvester. Or our header, anyways. Where is the harvester? So let's go around this way to see if we can find... Where is it? Don't we have a harvester? Hmm. Look at these. These all got to be harvested, and I own this. Look at the size of this thing. That's awesome. Oh, man, I'm super excited. You guys have no idea how long I've been waiting for this. All right, so is the heart. I know that... Um, now there's our water and stuff is... Let me do one little thing here first. Let's see if we got... There she is. She's in a building. All right. Now, how do I get out of here? Uh, 
Are these open? What's this do? Okay, is this the only light here? Okay, let me see where I'm at here. Uh. Oh, I think I'm just around. Ah, yeah, I was just right here. Okay. So, we will take and park. Now, where is our house, too? Let's, um. Get my cord untangled here. Let's take a look at our. Oh, okay. So let's go up, take a left, and we have our house right there. So we own. This is our cow farm. Yes, we own the cow barn, I do believe. Do I, do I, do I, do believe? And then we own the sheep pasture, which I'm not going to do sheep. I don't think we own that. I'm not quite sure. I don't usually do chickens, but I've been told that. I gotta check one thing real quick. I think. Okay. All right, so we're gonna park. Um, actually, no, nope, because we're gonna take. The tractor. Let's see if if Fury can back up with his mirrors. I may or I may not keep those. All right, there we go. What a nice mod, though. Fantastic, really, seriously, fantastic mod. But like I said, I decided to play this a little bit more slower. That's why we're going to go 1x speed. It gives me a chance to uh, just kind of relax. Uh, no Man's Land, sometimes I feel like I'm rushing for real. Uh, where's a good spot to start? Okay, the road right here is where we're going to start. All right, so let's get... Um, the one mod I am absolutely waiting for is the, uh, the in-cab only. Like, when you first get in your vehicle, it turns it, um, I also have to download the manual attachback. Because we are on our realistic map now. Um, so we got to get this turned around. So I can just hook up to it. Let's, uh... Don't want to destroy my crops. Ooh, don't, don't hit them, don't hit them. Alright, so let's get this right about here. Then we'll put this back. Here's my weight. Yeah, this gives me a chance to, uh, you know, just kind of relax and teach you guys and all this stuff. Oh, there she is. Okay, so here is our cultivator, our cedar, our baler. Um, I don't know what those are. I think they're where you can come and buy seed, but we're going to buy pallets. So we can get this off here for now. So how's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing fantastic. If I tear the paint off my cloths here. <laughs> this is going to be played as if we were real. We are going to get the serious immersion going now what I'm going to do is click on this. Now, I don't like this. I don't, don't, don't like this big header. I really, really don't. I don't think it's realistic. I mean, it's realistic. They make them. 
but I want to have smaller equipment on this map. So, we're going to have to head down to the farm and we're going to sell the header because this is a 10.8. I want like a 5 meter. Okay, we're going to sell that. And then we are going to go the header trailer. Sell that. Now let's head down to the store with our harvester. And I don't know where it is. Oh, I tell you. Got my cord all tangled around my... Where is the shop? Where? Oh, okay. Right here. So we're literally right around the corner from the shop. So we got to come out and take a right. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's get in here. Get this done. Like I said, it's going to be a free trial and error until I learn everything. Where we got to go, what we got to do. Uh, okay, right. Whew. Doesn't it feel like we're sitting up a mile compared to in the tractor? Look at that field. That is awesome. And we own that field too. Uh, did I? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I go buy it? I think I did. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to have to find areas. Oh, perfect. Hope this guy doesn't care about his field. So why don't we do this? Until we learn a few things about the map. Well, can't drive either. <laughs> Tell me the shop isn't right here. No. It would be nice if it was literally right around the corner from where we need to be. <laughs> I think it is. That's not it. Wait a minute. Am I the right Am I in the right area? Yeah, the shop should be right here. Right? Isn't that the shop? Farm, oh, farm workshop. Okay, so I think it was up by field seven. Vehicle shop. All right. So let's come down here and we'll take a left. All right. So far, I haven't seen. This map reminds me of Metal Grill Farm Extended. Absolutely awesome. Hope we can get a four meter header home. That's what I'm hoping. No bashing it too much on everything. Perfect. Straight shot. Now we can just do that. Ooh, that's a big tree. But yeah, this reminds me of Metal Grove Farm. How awesome. I absolutely love UK maps. And we've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And ready to go. I think all of our fields are ready to harvest. So, First couple of episodes, first couple of days, we're going to be harvesting, collecting wheat bales. Uh, we're going to be getting our animals started. I don't even know. I know that we own the cow pasture, and I think it holds 150. I was watching Daggerwind's video, and I think it... All right. Am I f freaked out, or is it me? Okay. What? Up in that corner on that TV screen. What is that a picture of? That just freaked me out. I thought somebody was sitting in here with me. Oh, man. What is that? It's absolutely freaking me out. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I, I looked up and I thought... is. There a dog in here with me? That's what it looks like, doesn't it? I don't know. 
So, uh, trivia. Got to get that out of the way here. So, since we're on uh, the UK maps, we are going to ask a question about the claws. The claws. Uh, brand since we're on the UK and all of you my UK subscribers should be able to answer this what year did this is gonna be a simple one because I really didn't prepare I was super excited to just get on the map what year did Kloss come out that's it that's the simple one that is a simple question to answer uh, all right so I think we got to come this way Uh, don't quote me on this, but I'm going to buy our header now. I'm going to buy our Claws header. Let's buy... Oh, that's 6 meter, 5.7. Let's buy a 5 meter. Yeah, I don't want... Oh, there it is. Yeah, 5.1 Claws. Uh, There it is. It's over here. <laughs> I love learning new maps. Absolutely. Did that thing just come down on me? Yep. Awesome. All right. So I got to like, kind of this way. Back this way. That was me. Now we should be able to get this five meter header home. I've got some mods to get done today. I'm gonna to be super busy. I've gotta get the manual attached since we're on the realistic series. So this isn't very realistic today. Uh, let's lower that down and see if we can drive with it on. Oh, gotta get out here. Hey, mister. This is a straight shot, so. Okay, nothing's gonna come that way because there's cones. The nice thing is, the shop is literally down the street from our house. I do believe. <laughs> do I, do I, do I, do believe in spooks? <laughs> what movie was that from, everyone? I'll try to, every single day, uh, come up with some kind of cool story, uh, something that keeps you guys interested, because I do want to play for an hour, uh, even though I'm, I'm really hyped up for like 30 minutes, but I figured since we're going to be playing realistic, uh, an hour would be much, much more advantageous. Uh, I figured that we would go, because we only play 12 hours a day, that's why I'm going three day months, because... It's 36 episodes, or well, not episodes, uh, 36 hours, which would be the same as 30 days or pretty close to it. I don't want to go under, as if I went 24, it would, uh, it would seem under. So that's why we're going to go uh, three days. And today, this day will be less than 12 hours because we started at 8 o'clock. 8.03 to be exact. Now, you would never, ever, ever drive with your header down. Actually, the right way to do it would be to drive it with a, on a header trailer. Uh, because um, these roads are super narrow. I'm so used to being in the States where roads are quite a bit wider. But until I get to know the roads and everything, I'm going to... Kind of ride around and bounce off everything like this. Yeah, that doesn't... It doesn't like it. <laughs> That's for sure. Now, the other reason I chose such a small header is because we can drive up and down the roads, as you saw, without having too many issues. 
Now, I gotta check. I'm gonna drive through this little bit of field here. I'd like to start down here. Right in through here. What did I hit on? Oh, a tree. The only thing about these UK tree the UK is these darn trees. Okay, so we're gonna start right here. Uh, which side's my pipe on? This side. Okay. So now we are gonna make sure. Okay, X is to unfold the harvester. Lower header. Okay, and I do want to do pull that back up again. Just so it's a little, it's chopping the, it's chopping it pretty good. Uh, enable swath is comma, comma. All right. We'll turn that off. We'll turn our map off. And here we go. Oh, the other thing is, I want to, um, want to lower my cruise control. Cruise. Let's go one pass at three and see how well we do. The other reason is uh, the five meter header you can see in cab makes it just so much better. Ooh, <laughs> dear. All right, so let's stop here for a second. Hop out. Make sure we're giving a straw swath. We are. Awesome. All right, and lower the he lower the header and start. Uh, I hope I well for me it's eleven twenty five at night. Uh, I may be starting a series on this map with Danny Beats. Um. I told him I want to kind of get started with the um, the my series first, and then we can play a multiplayer series, uh, and we'll set it up. I may or may not. He was super excited, just like me. Look at the size of this field. Absolutely incredible. Love it. And this is like a just a smaller map. It's great. Smaller map, but... And this isn't even the hugest field. I mean, look at this. I mean, we are on field three. Let me zoom out here. Look at field 13. <laughs> look at some of the size of these fields. And then you've got some real tiny ones, too, which is awesome. It's the best of both worlds. Love it, love it. And then he said there's a placeable section, which I don't know where that is yet. We're going to have to figure that out together. He said there was a flat spot for placeables, and we can do our own, uh, our own, like, factories and stuff so we can be self-sufficient. The one mod I can't wait, also, like I said, is uh, the in-cab, but the... Oh, what's the other? It's called, like, when you put your head out the window, you lean. Let's take a look at the green. Looks pretty good. Ah, so, let's get into some stories. Uh, everybody has said they've loved listening to my stories about my life and me growing up. So, we got about 25 minutes. The other thing is that's cool is if I leave the HUD up, you guys can follow along with me. Uh, and we don't need any timers. We don't need nothing. We start at an even amount. We end at an even amount. And we just keep going and going and going. That's why I'm, I'm super excited. I, uh, you guys and myself, we fell in love with Meadow Grove uh, because it was no fuss, no muss. And it's farming and it's not... It's this is the way farming is supposed to be, or farming simulator. 
Uh, do I get used to, like I said to you guys last night, I love the maps where you build your own and all that stuff. But I really like it where they kind of got it set up and you expand and you do the things you need to do to farm. But you guys have expressed, oh, shout outs, shout outs, shout outs. I want to give shout outs to Triple D Honey. Uh, I know, I know you were excited. I sent you a link um, to the uh, trailer, the Stroutman trailer uh, for pallets. Because you said you only had an auto load for bales. So I sent that to you. I wanted to make sure that I got your attention in the video that I put that in the comments. There's a link to um, that trailer that I got on No Man's Land. No Man's Land is not going to disappear, but uh, you guys have expressed several times that you enjoy it. When I come on and I talk about my life and I talk about things that are going on and it kind of passes the time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this our own little virtual world and we're going to join each other every single day we're going to talk about what we're doing we're going to talk about how things uh are moving along on the farm we're not going to be in any kind of hurry whatsoever we are literally just going to do this like we would if we really were farmers so if you ever have any questions about how things really work uh just ask you know in the comments I'll explain to you and otherwise we are going to do this right super 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 as the kids would say stoked <laughs> we had that we had that saying in the 70s so you kids uh, you kids didn't come up with that we had that in the 70s <laughs> uh, I may since this is absolutely tickling my fancy this this map i may take a little bit of a break from no man's land but i'm not leaving like i said don't get me wrong it's still in my saved files we can just come to it if we ever get bored of this map we can just load back up that map and it's nice but i want to give because here's why when i want <laughs> i was thinking to myself today and uh uh somebody i can't remember which one somebody was picking on me about it when i had when i always say things like oh i have a long discussion with myself no i'm talking to myself <laughs> so I, w I went over to the grocery store to get groceries today and uh it's <laughs> went over uh from where the wife and i live we live literally in the middle of nowhere so for us to go to the grocery store is like an endeavor it's it's like crazy so I'm out there and I'm having discussions with myself, wink, wink, and I'm talking about uh, the Let's Plays and how I want to do them, and I tell you guys, don't ever get old, because when you get old, you start talking to yourself, <laughs> and uh, you know, as my dad would say, um, don't ever, it's, it's not talking to yourself, it's when you start answering yourself. <laughs> so it was it's crazy because i was like all right so i got thinking of how many actual episodes that i've done on no man's land and i'm gonna i'm gonna break it down for you guys okay so in fs19 all right i was doing the same sort of let's play where it was flattening project except for we didn't have this cool mod that digs out rocks and we didn't have this cool mod that terraforms for free everything costs money in 19 you guys know that so i was doing that doing that and i was on like episode 32 or 33 before i went on to meadow grove i was like literally like it was crazy and then fs22 drops and I was in, I think, episode like 27 or 28 of Metal Grove. So I, we were knee deep into it. We were, we were like day three already and we were rocking and rolling. Then FS22 drops and I go and I say, oh, cool. Look, we got base game maps. I was like, to be honest, I wasn't really excited. I know how the base game maps are. 
uh, in the FS22, and they they they're good, and they play well, and they v- play very smooth, but generally speaking, they don't fit me. And as I've had discussions with Grizzly Bear Sims several times, I'm the one guy that loves the challenge. I don't want to just run around and do the. I want to farm. I want to farm, and I want to farm realistically. That's why I like Metal Grove Farm. But anyways, getting back to my story. So I had 30-something episodes, 37, I think, 35. I don't remember exactly, but it was third. It was in the 30s. Then FS22 drops, and I was on 26 or 27 before the lightning struck the house. And now we're just getting ready to film episode 12. Uh, nine or nine drops, and I've got episode ten or eleven or twelve. So, anyways, I'm like on a total of Meadow Grove or uh, No Man's Land, and it did never change. It's exactly the same map. So I'm literally pretty close to a hundred episodes, and some of those episodes, like in nineteen, I was doing ten x speed, um, and before the lightning strike, I was doing ten x speed, and I was playing for an hour. And so some of that probably, uh, let's be a little more realistic, probably more like 60 or 70 episodes. But if you times that by an hour each episode, you're talking, you know, 60, 70, 80 hours just on No Man's Land alone. Let alone what I had put into Meadow Grove and what I've put into um, Hastings, North Dakota and things like that. So... When this map dropped, I was like a little kid in a candy store. I was like, yes, finally, I can do my realistic series. Because ultimately, a year ago, I was explaining to you guys yesterday that it's just been a year in uh, the end of December for me on YouTube. When I started my channel, um, I really, really, really wanted to come on and be a realistic farming channel. I want to teach people how to farm. I want to have it so that we're realistically doing things the way a farm sim game is supposed to be played. Well, one thing led to another, and next thing you know, I'm running around with auto loads and uh, 20 meter equipment and things like that because you just get tired of doing this. Like, you, there's no rhyme or reason. No Man's Land is an awesome map, and I will continue to play it. But it's not a map that you can play super realistically because it's a create your own map. Okay, like you do create fields in real life uh, and things like that, but not it's usually expanding the fields that are already there. Uh, you do do and I and what you do do. <laughs> uh, you do also create fields after you cut down some trees and things like that. But unless you're a big commercial farmer, generally speaking, it's the field that's the field is the field. And that's it. So I do enjoy, my favorites are the building of your own, don't get me wrong, I have to keep that in there, that's a disclaimer, but the realistic farming channel that I really, 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 really wanted when I started my channel lends to these kind of maps because you can actually do it the right way. So that's what happened, it's just a little discussion I was having with myself and, you know, as I said, you're talking to yourself, you're not really having a discussion no one in the car but me uh and i'm thinking to myself yeah i think that and i I thought it was funny that no man's land was the first map that dropped i mean alien jim's a genius anyways but um i thought it was strange when i saw no man's land and i thought i cringed a little bit and i thought oh my lord i don't want to get into this whole um millions million 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 man episode uh, on No Man's Land again, but I do enjoy it. We've come so far on that farm twice. (laughs) I have to say that, well, actually for me, three times. In 19, then in 22, we've been, I've been on that map and started three Let's Plays on that map. So, I'm going to try, I'm going to see how well this one goes. I'm just begging, begging, begging giants that there's not going to be if there's going to be updates to this map and oxy will he'll update it and that's fine because there'll be some bug that they'll find or something i don't have a problem with 
uh, maps being updated. What I don't want is to spend a hundred hours on a map and have me have them say requires a new save game. I was just talking to Grizzly Bear Sims literally a couple of days ago, and I told him that the one of the biggest frustration as a content creator is when map makers put out these maps, and we've got to they go oh well we found some issues well this map has now gone through testing on oxy's part and testing in giants and they released it on their mod hub so i don't i will get very very frustrated with giants if we have to come out with uh another update for this map and say oh you got a new do a new saved game because uh, that's not fair Especially the content creators, you know, like this is why Grizzly stays on one on the base game map because they're not fixing those, they're not updating them. This map is it's got all the bells and the whistles, and we all know it. And it's also got all of the uh, cool things that we would uh, would want. But I just hope that we don't have an issue with. Um, having to do an update and then a re new saved game. All right, so I'm going to stop here soon and go get my wagon and bring it back. Let's just finish right to the edge, right here. We'll back up just so that it stays in line with the straw so you don't get that big giant pile. Uh, we're going to turn this off, turn the harvester off. See what I mean? When you get to an end of a row, back up a little bit so you don't get this massive straw pile. Look at that barley. <laughs> All right. Uh, where is my trailer? Is it down the other farm? Got to bring up the map again in one second here. Where are we here? Where am I? Oh, okay. Yeah, I gotta go down. I think my trailer's at the other farm. I think it's across the street. <laughs> oh, I think this is our house too, right? I'm not quite sure where our house is. Where is our road? Yep, this must be it. Our road. Look at the size of some of these fields around us. Let me get this lowered back down here. Look at the size of some of these fields. Now, there's our cow pen. Do a quick here. I want to take a look real quick. Yep, 150. Okay, good deal. I'm assuming that the manure is probably going to spawn in here. That's what I'm assuming. I've never even looked at this. Okay, we got a silage pit, looks like. There's our slurry pit. And that's what makes... Wow, they got a big pen. That's great. That's what makes me think the manure is going to spawn in here someplace. And I think you can... F I think you can feed them... Always hit the wrong button. Alright, I'm not going to buy those yet. Uh, let's head up here. Get our trailer. I don't know what... That must be our silo. We dump... Uh, assuming water or liquid fertilizer, fuel or milk. I'm assuming that's milk because it's a big tank. Ah, oh, 
awesome. There's our barrel spike. Oh, that's right. We have a uh, telehandler on this. Right there. Sweet. All right. And a pallet fork. Awesome. All right. Here's our um, wagon. My favorite. Heh. <laughs> Should we have a sleep trigger on that? This field's got to be harvested. We own this field next. Yeah, look at this. Uh, wheat. And then look at that. Do we? We don't own that one over there. So about 10 minutes left and I will get over to back over to there with our wagon. Wow. Okay, so that's going to be, we're going to try to do the bale. We're going to put bales in these. That's what we're going to do. Because they work perfect with bales. Sweet. 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 All right, so. Let's get our wagon back. This is such a cool little uh, uh, yard. It's small, but it's kind of neat like to have like the propane tanks and things like this. And <laughs> That's exactly what you'd see. Bales. <laughs> they <laughs> they kind of fell over. It's kind of realistic, though. Like I said, what a great job. All right, so now we got to go back to the field. And I think we start... Sorry, I'm just... I'm still learning the map, too. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The graphics on this map are absolutely breathtaking. So, what animal is this? Like, it's it's coming up animal type. Oh, it's coming up field info. Grass ready to harvest. But we don't own this field. But I'm assuming Cliff Powell wouldn't mind if we came down here and got water for the animals. If we needed it. But look at that. That's so realistic. You would mow a field like that. Fantastic. I'm sorry, Cliff. I'll shut your... I'll shut your... Uh, thing here for you. Wow. This... Every time I turn and look, it just looks like you're here. Like you're super immersive. This is nice. Oh, wait. What field are we harvesting? Okay, three. All right, so I got to go up here. Straight and then turn into our farm. Yeah, okay, I know where I'm at. Look at, like, people walking around. What a fantastic map. Hey, did the gates open here? Because his gate just opened. No. No? Oh, man, I'll tell you. What a great map so far. Visually, especially. Um, if I was to grade this map... Okay, I know that Farmer Klein, that's his little niche. And, uh... What is this? Oh, this is the sheep pen. Okay. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> You know, for a UK map, this thing's pretty big. Oh, man, we're going to have to just drive around one day when there's not much to do, like when we don't have a lot to going on. We're going to have to... Uh... All right. Take a look at Gander around this map. Okay, so far, I know that this Farmer Klein... Oop, don't want to hit the deer. He does the, the grading of maps. But I'm going to give my own grades on this map, I think. And he grades them out of five. And we're going to do the same thing. Okay, so visually, I would give this a five out of five. This map is absolutely breathtaking. Sounds, ambiance. Just, you can hear the birds chirping. You can It just feels like you're right in here with it. 
Uh, playability so far is a 5 out of 5. And, I, I mean, the, the map is set up. I, I would give this so far probably at minimum of probably a 5 out of 5 so far. I haven't driven around. I haven't seen many. You know, we're, we're all going to get those little glitches. You know that. So that's it. But once we get the map down and we know where we're going and everybody's happy, I'll turn the HUD off. That way you guys don't have to see it. Uh, let me know in the comments like if you want certain times or once a day if you want me to show you guys like what we're doing. Uh, that sort of thing. I can turn the HUD on and turn it right back off because I don't. It it's, takes away from the immersion. I think for me, I always try to leave it up because um, I've had a couple of people say, "Well, we don't have any idea how much money and everything is." Da 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 da. -da. So I try to leave it up for everybody. But this is our realistic series, so we're gonna. We don't need. We don't have a HUD in a in a real farming machine. But I can also just bring up the map too. We'll leave it up the rest of this episode, and then after today, the HUD will be gone. I'll download the manual attach. Uh, because I have my sim dashboard, it will tell me what implement I'm on and everything. It tells me the time. It tells me everything. So we'll just play it like we're supposed to play it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's where I was at with metal or with um uh what do you call it there? No man's land. <laughs> My brain just went. Rrr. I got listening to the harvester turn around. Took a drink of my Dr. Pepper, and, it, and my brain just went, <laughs> turns to jello. Wow. I turned my volume up on my mic, and whew, that's too loud. Then Fury feels like he's, he's, uh, um, yelling in my own ear. My wife, she asked me today, she's like, so why is your channel named Fury Machine? And I said, dear, dear, I've explained this to you before. First of all, it's my alter ego. And she says, what? Now, I was totally playing along. Like anybody who knows me in real life realizes that I'm extremely like I try to tell as many jokes as I can and a lot of times this comes across as sarcastic but I'm not I'm just I've got a sense of humor that goes all the way deep into my core and everything is funny to me all my mistakes you know stupid things that you do so she says why is your why is your channel named Fury Machine and I said well it's my alter ego and she said what what, what do you mean your alter ego I said well you know when um, they put the little thing up in the sky and they call me that's what they call me well she never got she never figured it out she never understood what that meant she just kind of said whatever and walked away and i was laughing hysterically but i don't know if i've ever told you guys why my channel name is fury machine that's absolutely insane now Craden knows my real name because um him and i were playing multiplayer and i loaded into the game and my real name came up on the screen i'm like what why isn't fury machine up on there and it's just crazy uh apparently when you first start the game uh it goes by what your steam account was under and that's all well and fine to me but on the same token <laughs> it's like uh no so I'll tell you guys the quick story of why, how I came up with Fury Machine Gaming. Well, uh, probably about, see, my two sons now are grown. 
Um, my oldest is 42, and my middle son, my middle son is 40, and my youngest son is 34, 35 now. We waited quite a while to have him. Um, but my two sons, two out of the three, were MMA fighters. And one of my son's nickname was Fury. And the other one's name was Machine. And hence how I came up with Fury Machine Gaming. That's how I came up with it. Um, I had, when I started my channel, for those of you, well, not, not many of you were here in the beginning, but uh, uh, before when I had my Facebook, um, Raznik, he knows my name, all that stuff, but not many people know. All right, so we're going to stop this here. I'm going to, to run back all the way over to my tractor. And meanwhile, I'm going to say goodbye to you guys as I'm doing it. All right, so we got our first episode out of the way. Set a few stories. Got some stuff set up. Uh, we're ready to go. We're just going to do this like we can do no more. Uh, in an hour, we did... Let's uh, see if we can bring up, okay, uh, two acres in an hour. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. And on that note, be sure to look out for yourselves, look out for each other. Most importantly, look out for each other's family. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, share, share. Be sure to enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. And on that note... As I run, Fear Machine will say <sighs> goodbye. I'll catch you guys all tomorrow. Have a good one, everyone.